Welcome back to Shoe Lights. Today, we're going to be looking at two versions of the Ace Beam X50. One has the Cree XHP 70.2 in 5000K, and the other has the GT FC40 emitters. And we're going to take a look at which one we think is better. And here's where I'm going to do a little bit different of a video than I normally do. Instead of just showing you stuff and letting you come to your conclusion, I'm going to tell you right now that I've already decided which one's better, and it's Dex HP 70.2. It's just better. I will make this claim during the video, and I'm going to kind of rush through here. I'm not going to show you every single test I've done, but I'll kind of tell you, you know, lumens, beam profile, CRI, tint, all that kind of stuff, and we'll talk about it, all of it. So on paper, I'm going to explain to you that this one, the, the XHP 70.2, should be brighter but low CRI, and on paper, this one, the GT FC40, should be high CRI, lower lumens, but a little bit more throw. And that's where I'm going to tell you that in practice, I just don't think that this one plays out. I don't think that this really lives up to the hype. I found that the throw difference was almost negligible. I'm not saying that this didn't throw more. It did. But in use, like on my street, now where my you know tower is a kilometer away, they this one just seemed to push basically as well. It, it, it didn't. You can watch my other video where I compare the Manker uh, MK38 because this one has the um, XHP is just like this one. And I compare these two against each other and this one does outthrow this, but it just it just doesn't, like it's not noticeable enough and the beam is so much wider on the XHPs that it just seems like, you know, this is a flutter. This is a soda cam flutter. Why wouldn't you go for a wide beam? So I just liked this better and it's more lumens, right? And then we're gonna, I'll also show you uh, how it looks on this chart back here. Okay, we'll we'll tell you, you know, show you with the video. And by the way, I'm shooting this video in a special format. Uh, it's called Log V3, where I'm going to have increased um, exposure value. And so you should, you know, maybe not as good as with your eye if you were here, but we we should see, uh, you know, any color difference if there is. And um, lastly, I'll show you some beam profiles and things like that. So let's get to it. Let's start out with talking about the lumens. So here's my lumen tube back here. I've already done the measurements. So we're just going to talk about it. And you're just going to have to believe me. I'm not showing you this time for, for sake of speed. The XHP on the right here got 28,000 lumens at startup. Now, the company quotes it as 40,000. But remember, that would not be including you know, any driver inefficiencies, any reflector loss, glass loss, stuff like that. So out the front, we call it OTF. This is about, I measured 28,000 lumens at startup. And then by ANSI, you know, it dropped about 24,000. This one was only 16,000 lumens at startup. And then it dropped much lower, about 12,500. So that's a big difference. So right away, you can see that if you want a chunky soda can flutter like this, it, it kind of makes sense to get the Cree. Now we're going to move into CRI because CRI is supposed to be the big difference here between these two. So let me turn off my video lights. All right. Okay, turn these off so that we're only being illuminated by the flashlights themselves. All right, so we're totally dark here. Now, I've got both these set to about 5,000 lumens, and I'm going to hold them at the same distance. So we're going to start out with the lower CRI, Cree, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock my exposure. So I'll let the uh, kind of camera settle here, and I'm going to lock my exposure. There we go. So take a look at those colors on the chart, and I've got the... FC40 sitting right next to it, and I'm going to switch. So let me turn off the XHP70. Here we go. It's off, and let's go to, now that's the GTFC40, all right? And I'm going to put a two-up, all right? So we'll take these two shots. Let's go to that two-up, but I'm telling you, I just don't see a big enough difference for it to really matter. And I mean, these are flutters, right? I'm not using this for close-up EDC work. 
I'm, I'm going to light up my block, right? Okay, now let's take a look at how each of these fares on my Sekonic. Now we're going to start with the low CRI, XHP 70.2, and we got a measurement of 71 CRI, and the R9 value is negative 20. So you can see it is clearly not a high CRI LED. Now let's go to the FC40. Same lumens, same distance. There we go. And you can see that it is indeed 95 CRI, and the R9 is a really respectable 81. That's, that's very, very good. I've got high CRI Samsungs that only do about 30 on that. So there's clearly a CRI difference. But did you really see it on the chart? I mean, yeah, it exists, but I just don't think it's that big of a difference to your eye um, at the kind of le lumen levels we're talking about and the distances we're talking about. But here's really the trick, and this is what I want to show you guys. This is why when I go outside and I use them on my block, which we'll do at the end of the video, I actually like the XHP better. And this is where I make the argument the tint is, is so much more important than even CRI. If I take a measurement of the XHP, okay, here we go. So I'm back on that. And then I go and take a look at the Delta UV. You can see it's almost exactly neutral at 5,000 lumens, okay? Now, let's take a look at the GTF40 at its 5,000 lumens, And you can see that it's 64 above the BBL. So it's greenish. And, and you can see it to your eye. It doesn't look good. Um, let's go ahead and also put on turbo, each one. So again, this will be the XHP. Let's put it on turbo. Okay. And measure that. And what we got now is it's actually rosy. It's actually 40 under. Now let's do the GTF 40. So turbo it, okay, and you can see that even on turbo, it's 60 above. So we just have a much greener um, tint on this, on this GTFC40, and it just doesn't look good. And, and this is where you realize, you know, the CRI is clearly better on this model, but things look worse in it. Let's take a look at some white wall hunting beam shots before we go outside. So let's do a little white wall hunting with my ceiling here. The beam you're looking at currently is the XHP 70 and next to it on the left here is the FC 40. And immediately you notice that the FC 40 has a tighter hotspot and that's because the emitters are smaller dies and they become throwier in the same optic. But you'll also notice that the XHP 70 looks warmer to your eye. And I want to point out that there's something going on here, which is what I also notice with XPL highs. And that is the one on the right looks a little like yellower, but in, in person, it's rosier. In person, it looks much better than the one on the left. I mean, there's no comparison. In person, this looks like a worse beam in every way. Also notice that because the domes are so big, as I rotate this, it's kind of just really round and just there's not much artifacts. And over here, let's see if I can see it on video. Well, it doesn't really show on video, but I just want to point out that this beam, I can see some petals. Oh God, it's so hard to see. There's some petals, kind of some lobes coming out around the corona. So again, I don't expect you to be using a light close up like this, but then why are we going high CRI, right? Because that's the argument. The argument is this is a high CRI flutter that can sustain 5,000 lumens indefinitely. Um, but if that's the case, I would go with the rosier, nicer looking beam. Uh, okay, hold the phone. I just realized something while I was editing this video that I need to talk about. And that is that Ace Beam markets this light, the GTFC40, as a photography light. And we're noticing that on camera, the GTFC40 is appearing much better than the XHP70, which looks yellowish. Now, that's not what it looks like in person. In person, the XHP70 
is a much rosier, much more pleasant light with my, you know, naked eye. But there is this issue where on camera, it just looks really yellow. And, and I see this also with XPL highs. I have some XPL high emitters that are just completely rosy in person. And then you go to take a picture of them and they look yellow. So if you intend to use this for photo work, for video work, then the GTFC 40 is probably the one to go to. But I'm assuming that the majority of my audience is just using it visually. Let's go outside and take a look at it in the street. Okay, we're outside with the two lights. Still have the XHP 70.2 on the right and the GTFC 40 on the left. We got the white balance locked at daylight and we got exposure locked. And let's start out with the FC40 this time. I keep starting with the uh, Cree because it's the one that I like better. But let's start out with the FC40 so that you can see how much better in a situation like this, I believe, that the Cree is. So we'll turn it on and I'll go straight to turbo. All right, now what we're looking at here is we're looking at how bright it looks against those trees there and how the spill looks on the sides, okay? Now let's go to the Cree, and you'll see that it's much more lit up on the sides. Okay, here's turbo. Much more lit up on the sides. These trees are significantly brighter, and those trees in the back, about the same, right? There's almost no appreciable difference. That's what more lumens will get you. One more time. Here is the FC40 on turbo, and here is the Cree, the XHP70s. Here's another thing that I also noticed between these two models, and that is there's a heat difference. So if I take them right now, and they've both been standing for a while, so they're at the same temperature, and I both turbo, there we go, so they're both on turbo. I'm gonna hold this for about 30 seconds, and I'm gonna tell you which one's hotter after a little bit. So the one on the right here, that one, that's the XHP70, and this one is the GTFC40. And already, guys, I'm telling you that the one on the left is much hotter. This one on the right, I can feel some warmth around my finger, but this one's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to put it down. It is so hot. Oh, wow, it's hot. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta turn it off. Wow. This one, though, it's just warm. So that's yet one more reason you should get the uh, Cree. It's just gonna be more usable. So, I mean, guys, you know, Feel free to disagree with me, but I guess the one thing that the FC40 was supposed to provide was high CRI, and I just don't see how high CRI matters when you're flooding a whole neighborhood. And uh, I mean, going back to that color chart, I just don't even really notice it. I mean, I do, I do notice it. Okay, I'm not claiming there's no difference, but I just don't think it's it makes sense in a light like this for a little small EDC light. Sure. But uh, I I'm going to go lumens. I'm going to go lumens. All right, guys. If you want to check out my other videos, uh, feel free to click on the boxes now. And please subscribe, folks. Uh, one thing I've been noticing is that subs, you know, involvement with the channel helps me come up on the search. And then, and by the way, 80%... 80% of the people that are viewing my videos are not subscribers. So that means they're just stumbling upon it. So that's my plea. Please subscribe and uh, like and comment and all that kind of interaction. All right, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.